Welcome back to the channel. I am Lady Nika and with um, Wednesday night's episode of Black Ink Crew New York Season 6, Episode 8, The Return of Oh Shit. <coughs> Before I begin the review, <coughs> right now we have my, my grandson's seventh birthday party and it has just officially started. So if you hear some noises, please overlook it. I'm trying to multitask, catch up with you guys as well as be a part of that. So, let's talk a little bit about what we saw on Wednesday, okay? We start off uh, the episode, Sky sitting in her home in Atlanta playing pool with seeds when Teddy gives him a call telling him that Alex got in some trouble and they need his help being able to post his bill. So, he said, okay. Now, after he hang up with him, he tells Sky that she got to come back with him to New York and she don't really want to. In fact, she was, hit, she was doubling down that she did not want to go back because because remember, she just came back home. Well, he says she needs to find a new manager for the shop. And he also told her, I'll fly y'all first class. And baby, when he said this, she was like, I'm on it. Now, Walt, Kitty, and Donna go to this cooking class. Um, hooking it up. And Jada finally come. Because she was supposed to be in there with him. But she late. Child, she was going through some stuff. So she's safe. Now, her roommate's supposed to be moving out on her. And she now has to have someone to move in almost immediately. To help her uh, keep her rent caught up. You know, in that, that, that New York uh, area up there. Because it's hot. Okay. Donna need a place to stay. So Jada offers her the chance to move in. I said, uh, just that fast, huh? Y'all just met each other, so they say on this show, and just that fast, just because you see this bitch working in the same shop that you kind of, you know, came in to working in by way of a lie, but they just kept your ass anyway. Y'all just going to move in with each other. Don't know if y'all personalities will work out with one another. Y'all really ain't even friends, but okay, girl, go ahead on. Now, Walt ain't feeling Jada moving uh, Donna in with him because, see, he know how Donna is. Donna is with the dick and the clits, okay? So, he worried about is she going to try to make a move on Jada before he get his opportunity to make his move on Jada. So, he decided he going to ask her out on a date, which she did say yes, and he seemed very, very happy about that. That's good. I, I like Walt. I want him to find him somebody good to help him with them three goddamn kids. Now, Teddy and C's go bail Alice out. Come to find out he only was on the traffic tickets. When he get out there, he talking about they were traffic tickets from way back, you know. Now, nigga, you ain't nothing but in your early 20s, but these are tickets from years ago, and you had the money for it, but you just chose not to pay. So, see, you done paid thirteen fifty to get your ass out of jail, and you getting out acting ungrateful, talking about you could have paid it, but you didn't want to. C's told him, well, look him. That bond wasn't free, and, um... He going to have to work that out. And don't take his kindness for no weakness. Because next time you go in, don't look for me to get you out. So Sky goes to the shop and child ain't nobody there. So she conducting interviews, I think was on FaceTime. Find this one girl by the name of Tatiana. We going to call her Tati. And um, who she, didn't, she got a good resume. She done managed before and all of that old shit. So she hires her on a trial basis. Now, Walt took Jada to this place to listen to some erotic poetry. And you would tell that this girl either don't go nowhere too often or else this bitch was putting 20 on 20, 10 because she was real happy to be there. Walt got up and did a poem dedicated it to her. And I thought they was going to fuck right after because she just couldn't get over herself. I said, baby, this bitch is brand new. Anyway, they do a little bike, bike ride afterwards. And overall, it was a nice date. Walt seems to know how to be a gentleman when he wants to. Later on, the crew is at the shop planning a Halloween party when Teddy tried to take shots at uh, Jada. And I was sitting there like, oh, so you just gonna say fuck your homeboy and just try to holler at, okay, you, ooh, he ain't shit. But Jada was the right kind of bitch. She curved that ass and then went to talking about how good of a date she had with Walt and they making googly eyes at each other. I said, see? Your tight clothes wearing ass. You done stepped your game up, though, bitch. You done stepped your game up. But don't be trying to holler at nobody else's. You know, that ain't his woman yet. But you know that's where he going with this at least smashing partner. Can you give the man some kind of damn respect? You thirsty, bitch. Anyway.
Ooh, that made me mad. I don't like no player hater. Anyway, Bay coming in, she upset. You know, it's been a week. No word from my mama. She worried. She want to go to Korea or wherever that is to see her, about her mama and bring her mama back over here. But see, that's expensive. So the crew decide, tell you what, we can do a tattoo a thon while the party going on and get the money to her to help her be able to go see her, to her go check on her mama or get her mama. And I said, that's sweet. Now, them friends. Uh, sees uh wild in New York goes and hangs out with Crystal and Cheyenne and it's cute. She said uh, I, I when I seen them together, my thing, my initial thought honestly was y'all trying to make me like Caesar this season. Cause look like he trying to turn over a new leaf. All right, come on through, Caesar. You might win me back over by season eight if y'all make it that far. Anyway, now I was offended because he said he had uh no <laughs> child. I'm talking about. This is why you need to do the shit off my head. They playing mini golf with one another, okay? They playing mini golf, having a good time. Then he asked her, you know, what's going on with the school, how things in school? And she lied and said it was okay, but Chris said, tell him the truth. Come to find out this baby being bullied at school for weight, about her weight. The girl is, she thick, but she like most of these girls I see nowadays. They thick with it. My daughters was like that. I was like that. So it ain't like, uh... Because they eating them injected chicken wings and shit that they just getting so big. The girl just thick shit. Our mama probably got it like that too. I mean, I ain't never looked at Crystal, but we don't ever know. But kids is cruel, and I know they could be bothering her. And I like the fact she told her to don't even let they, what they say bother her. Because, see, they, they jealous of you. And half the people that's messing with you now, by the time y'all grow up, they either going to be jailed or went the other direction. Or they way, they passed that bullshit. I was bullied too, but I was beating ass when I was being bullied. I said, I know that's right. That's the wrong thing to tell your daughter. But I promise that's what I did. When they tried to bully me that one year, babe, I was a fighting sister, suspended by five. I didn't have no fucking problem with it. See, let me tell you something about me. I don't mind kicking off at somebody's ass. I just don't like that social media. I don't like that. Face to face, we can knuckle up. What what it do? If I got my good hair on, hold on, bitch. Let me take this hair off. And we can do whatever we got to do. I just ain't, mm, mm And I, I hate that that child being done like that in school. But it is jealousy that prompts people to do this type of shit. Because that don't make no sense. Leave that girl alone. She ain't bothered nobody. Miss ass. Ugh. Anyway, that was good to see him and his daughter together in that capacity. Now, Donna then moved in with Jada. And what the fuck is up with the budget on Black Ink Crew New York? Why do these women be having these cosplay wigs on? Donna came in there looking like rainbow bright. I was like, bitch. All I could see was uh, My Little Pony over that rainbow. I ain't lying. Girl, please. Mm-mm, mm-mm. Mm-mm. But, Jada, I'm going to give you a pass because this season one for you. But, Donna, step your pussy up, bitch. Alex had to work out some of his debt with seeds, so he did early before the party started. And then he cleaning his ass up. And I don't blame him. Make him work for them duckies. Now, the night of the party, they having a tattoo of thumb to keep, uh, uh, to get Bay to her mama. Sky brings Tatiana into the group, uh, to the party, but she only introduced her to C's. He's so impressed by her resume, he immediately, you know, he cool with her. And you can tell that she wants to do a good job. She got experience, but what she don't got is she need to bring it down. She too fucking, it. she need to take her appeal or something. Calm her ass down because she put 20 on 10 real fast. She immediately jumped into manager mode. But, hey, you ain't introduced yourself to none of the crew. So, how the fuck is you going to just be rolling up on them talking about who a tattoo artist? They say who they are back there that they tattoo artists. You don't introduce yourself or nothing. You get to telling them this person want this, this person want that. And Bay was like, everybody was taken aback by her. But then she, she finally tells them who she is. And they cool with it. But then she goes back to rushing. I'm trying to make you some money. I'm trying to make you some money. She just started going at it, not realizing, girl, ain't nobody making no money up in this bitch on this shit but her. And if you had introduced yourself, we probably would have had told you all of this. But you introduced yourself after the fact. Y'all know Bay Nerves is short. She worried about her mama. It's that crazy-ass daddy done got hold of her mama. So she snapped it for you know it. She had them rich around and grab polio tati. I said, Jesus. Mm, mm, mm. So, Sky kind of breaks that situation up, and she goes to Tati and tell her, girl, let me tell you one damn thing. 
these are such, such and such person and the way you was coming off was a little bit too strong and Tatiana realized that she was right so she go and apologize to Bay and um said she was just trying to make money not to offend Bay said well it's my event and I appreciate your efforts but bring that 20 down to 10 because that's for all we doing. So they was cool again. So we back in the swing of things. Having a great time at the party. We getting it in. Child, all of a sudden this person in a Grim Reaper uh, costume comes in there. And they all on scowl up in her face. And when he removed the head, it was, oh shit. And I got sick to my stomach. Because I thought this bitch was gone. I do not care for oh shit. Every time I have tried to go team oh shit, oh shit has shitted on me. So fuck him. I don't want to hear it. He immediately, you know, I was irritated. He said him and that good nigga didn't work out, yada, yada, yada. Child, whatever. Oh, shit, baby, bitch. I don't know if I'm going to be able to deal with oh, shit and Alex at the same motherfucking time. Because Mr. Vagina Slayer, he got some shit with him. And we're going to find out a little bit more out about it every time. Anyway, child, that's all I have for y'all on Black Ink Crew. Get down in the panty section. Let me know your thoughts and opinions. Uh, if I left anything out, you feel pertinent. We can conversate about it down there. Sometimes I leave shit out on purpose because I'm a shady bitch sometimes. But sometimes I don't. So if you bring it up down there, we'll talk about it. I'll let you know if I left it out on purpose. Y'all remember the death of your struggle will determine the height of your success. In the meantime, in between time, please remember to rate, comment, subscribe, and share this video. Next up, we'll probably be if loving you is wrong and then it was gonna be shit it was gonna be fuck shit Friday it's gonna be shit talking Saturday. Peace.